Hello everyone, this is Anikhet and in this video I will tell you how to write a proposal. In my DMs, I was getting a lot of concerns and a lot of queries regarding how to write a proposal, what are the best practices to write and how one should write the best proposal to get selected. If I break the journey of Google Summer of Code into three major factors, it will be first, selecting an organization, second, how to contribute and thirdly, how to write the proposal to get in. Writing a proposal becomes particularly important for you if you are willing to get selected this year or the year you are planning for because the proposal will be ultimately your guidebook or your words to the organization in terms of how you plan to spend your summer working for them. Proposal consists of a lot of segments and in case your organization does not provide you a particular template, you can use mine. I will provide it in the uh, description. Proposal includes a lot of features. Firstly, it includes who you are in which you write a bit about you, your experiences, the places you've worked in, the communities you were part of, and then you include your name, the institution you are part of, or if you're a working professional, the corresponding company you are working with, your time zone, and related. But those things actually matter minimal when it comes to the impact that your proposal can create. So proposal includes three major segments. Firstly, the features you plan to implement. So whenever you are planning to implement a feature, you mention them and you write a bit about why do you think the feature implemented will actually help the organization. Post that, you write how you plan to work on the feature. Secondly, the code snippets. So whenever you are mentioning how you plan to implement the features, you should also write the code snippets and that acts as particularly bonus point and a lot of folks miss on that. So when I'm telling you to write the code snippet, I'm not at all telling you to write the entire code. Suppose you are implementing binary search tree. So you will write how to create a tree, right? You will define a class where you will mention about left, right nodes and the way. But you need not do that. Whenever I am saying to write a script, you will just need to write the particular function in which you will be checking if that particular binary tree is a binary search tree or not. Thirdly, the timeline. Timeline plays a particularly important role in which the organization admins understands if you have the particular understanding and if you know how and when you can build the particular features which you have mentioned. So generally, the timeline consists of two columns. In the first column, you mention the dates and in the second column, you mention during that time period what all features you will be working on. And writing a proposal becomes particularly difficult and during the phase, I tried to read a lot of particular proposals which were submitted previously by Google Summer of Code contributors who got selected. I will be sharing the link of that particular repository in the description and I will also sharing the link to my proposal. In case you have any further doubts or if you want to review your proposal, feel free to get in touch with me. But you know, I would say it is better you send your proposal before submitting to your maintainer or mentor whom, with whom you were talking while you were contributing and get their review before you finally submit that. Best of luck for your journey and I hope this year or the year you are feeling you get selected in Google Summer of Code. Bye bye.